Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff back again. This time it's something slightly different and because it is St. Patrick's Day, it's the 17th. Yes, that's right. I thought we'd have a little bit of an Irish theme here. So why not? Whiskey in the Jar by Finn Lizzie. Of course, it's been covered by numerous bands in the past. Uh, even the Clancy Brothers. If anybody knows any old Irish bands? The Clancy Brothers, don't I? I believe the Dubliners have done a version of this as well. But the one that we're thinking of, of course, has got to be Finn Lizzy. I'm going to go through all of the guitar parts in this. So I'm going to be looking at the lead guitar, looking at the rhythm, and also that great solo that was played in the middle of the track. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, hi, how you doing? Hope you're going to enjoy what's ahead of you today in this lesson. Please, why not, click on that subscribe button, click on that bell. That way, whenever I'm bringing out any new songs, you're going to be the first to know about it. Sounds like a good plan to me. Click. That's the one. Right, I'm going to shut up anyway. Let's get in and let me show you how to play Whiskey in the Jar. So don't go away. Preview. Let's have a look at that opening riff. I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down for you. So what we're doing there, we're starting off on the 8th fret on the high E string. And we're going to play that three times and then into a pull-off. So we get this... So I'm just going 8, 8 again. And then I've got eight pull off through seven to five. And then to the seven. So we get. Next part, we are on the seven. We're going to play that once and then into a pull off to the five. Moving across to the eight on the B string. And then followed by a full tone bend. So he goes. Next line. Now that's just a straight run down an A minor pentatonic scale. And I'm just playing eight to the five on the B. Crossover, seven, five on the G. And then I do a seven, five again on the D. Next line. What I'm doing there, I'm on that 7th fret on the D string and I'm doing a 7-5-7. Seven, seven. Cross over onto the G string, it's a 4-7. Onto the B string, it's a 5-8, pull off to 5. Back onto the G string on 7 and slide from 7 to 9. And the final one, a bit of a kind of crazy chromatic run down, but let me just play it through for you. I'm doing I'm playing seven first of all and then I'm gonna move down six five four on the G cross over to the D string and I'm playing seven six five same on the A move across to the low E string and I'm playing eight seven six finishing on the five And that is the intro. Now there is no timing on this. Oh, we're not got a drum beat behind us, so you can drag them lines out a little bit. Now, of course, from that part, we go into the main theme. Uh, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna look at the chord sequence that is played, and then we will look at the lead line. So let me just play through the guitar part that is the intro section before we get into the main verse. It goes like this. Right, what I'm doing there, I'm starting off with a G to an F. And then I'm on an E minor and our strumming pattern goes like this. I'll play that through. G 
change it across to the D and we're doing a very similar pattern. Down to the F and back to the E, doing the same thing as we did at the beginning. Back to the G. Now, what we do on that G at the end as we go into the verse, we are not going to go back to the F, so we do in the G exactly the same pattern strumming as we do on the E minor. So we get this. Well, let's have a look at the verse section and what we're playing on the rhythm guitar. And it goes like this. Now that would be repeated, the whole thing would be repeated. So we're going to start off, and we're staying on that G from the previous part of the intro, we're just playing that tip, that normal strumming pattern, so on the G. Then to an E minor. To a C. Then to a G. Then we repeat that whole section again. Once we come to the end of that, we are then into the chorus section. So let's check that out. So the chorus goes like this. So, what I'm doing there is a D first of all. So we're doing this one, and then we're playing from the two, we're playing just eighth beat. So it gets one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Cross with C, and we do the same thing. Do a C again. And then we do a G. the F and then we are back into that introduction phase so we're going to play through because we have that guitar lead again so we play through the introduction then to the verse and then to the chorus section which then heads us down to the guitar solo now the guitar solo comes directly after the second chorus and what we do we just play the entire thing again so you've got your introduction line then you've got a verse and when you come out of the guitar solo, you're back into a chorus line again. So it's just the exact same format, just playing that through while the guitar solo is taking place. Of course, when we come out of that, we are then back into the verse and the chorus section, which takes us to the end of the song. Right, my favourite part of this whole song, that's great little riff. Uh, I remember as a teenager, no teenager hearing this, and it, just, oh, it was just wonderful. Really enjoyed this song with Kevin, because that riff, everybody was having a go at playing it, and you've got to really got that kind of Irish jig feel when you play this. So let me have a go at this, and this is how it sounds. <laughs> So we start off with a two sevens on the G. Then we've got a triplet hammer on. So we're playing seven, nine, 11, and then going across to the eight on the B. And you just pick it once and pick on the A. Quite a quick one. So watch that. Always reminds me of the Adams family. Oh, just practice that a little bit just to get that line together. And then we've got a nine on the G, going to a seven on the B. Down to the seven on the G again, moving up to the nine. There's a slide. And then we finish on the 12, 
on the G string. So play that nice and slow. You're going to play this three times. Now the last line. While you're playing there, you start off on a seven on the G string. And then I've got three open strings on the G. So you got. And then from that, you've got this whole thing again. So when we play that triplet there, we've got. Which is O, two, four, going to the three. So. Hear that? That's that part in. And then from there, we've got open string on the G again to the two. So we're going O, O, two, O. Then we're going to slide in to the fourth. And then open string. So that whole that is the line that is played at the beginning before we go into the first verse. Let's look at that variation that we hear the second time round when we come out of the chorus section. So the second time around, there's just a little slight variation. So uh, we're going to play that first riff that we looked at previously. We're going to play that twice. So same thing again as what we looked at. So we just go that. Play that again. Now the next variation is going like this. So when I'm do playing that, I'm doing seven to the nine on the G, to the eight on the B, and then I'm on the 10th fret and I'm gonna play. So it's a 10, with then bends in between. down to the eight, and then we're back to. Now they are the lines that he plays from now on through the intro to each of the verse sections. So the first one is just to repeat the three, the second one, two of the main one, and then that little bended piece going back to our normal exit line. Now let's run through the guitar solo. The solo starts off with our normal leg. And then we go into this line. And when I'm playing there, I'm starting off on seven, eight on the high E string. To the 10, back to the eight. And then I've got a hammer on pull off on seven, I'll cross the eight, to 10. Then seven on the high E string. And then I go back to the B string on 10, going through 10, eight, seven. Back to the A, to the 10. Cross over to the high E string, and then seven, eight, 10. Now you can slide that, sounds a little bit better. So, put that all together. So next line goes like this. So we start off on the 12th fret on the B string, cross over to the high E string, it's 10, and then 12. Then I've got this little phrase, which is going 12 on the high E string, to 10, back to the 12. Then we got a bend on that 12, taking us up to 14. 
bite to the 12, and then I've got 12, 10. And then I've got a 12, 10, 12. If I put that together. Next part goes like this. So when I'm playing that, I'm doing a seven to the 10 on the high E string. And then I got this little triplet run down where I'm just going down, uh, I'm playing eight, seven, five. And then I play eight, six, five. Then I've got a quick, which is a seven, eight, back to the seven, onto the eight on the B, and then by six, five, and then I go across to the five on the G string, sorry, seven on the G string, to the four. So we get. Then I got a series of bends. Now from there we repeat a number of lines that we've already played, so we get this. Play that. Then we go to our usual 710, and then we start to run down with that tripler. We're stopping there though on that five. And then we've got this. So. So what I'm doing there after I played that five, I'm playing a line which is going five, six, eight, back to the six to the five. Hear that? Finishing that eight on the high E, so. Then we're gonna slide up to the eight on the B string, and we're gonna play 10 on the high E string. Back to the eight, to the 12 on the high E, back to the eight. Right, next two bars are a little bit kind of double stop work up here on the 12th fret, so it goes like this. So when I'm playing that, I'm starting off on 12, on the 12 and 12 on the D and G. Then I'm going to play 12, 14 on the D. And then I'm going double stop, because we're keeping that double stop on that 12, but I'm going to bring in 13 on the B string, so. And I go 13 back to the 12. So, so far. Back to the 14 on the D string. And then I go 12, 14 on the D to the 12. So again, do this real slow. Okay, next section. So the next leg. What I'm doing now, I'm sliding in on the G on the nine, across to the eight on the B. And then I've got a two bends on the 10. And then 10, A. And then I've got this nine, seven, nine. And then a crossover to the B string and I'm gonna be doing eight, 10, eight. Back to the nine. So I'm gonna do that twice. Then I come back and I'm gonna play a nine, seven. And then I do a seven. Play that nice and slow. Next line is a nice ascending line. It goes like this. 
what I'm doing there, it's all on the G string. I'm going from five to seven, back to five. And then seven to nine, back to seven. Nine to 10, back to nine. From 12 to 14, back to 12. Finishing on the 12 on the high E. Next part, a nice little bouncing lick here. Quite a bit of shift, but it's not too bad unless we kind of work through it a few times. When I'm doing that, I'm starting off on double stop on the eighth string, holding down B and E, and I'm gonna play. So I'm just playing that eight first on the B, and then I'm playing onto this eight ten. Hammering down on 10 on the B. Back to the 8. Then I go down to the 3. And I do a 3 5 on the B, back to the 3. So we get. Get that again. Then I've got a quick slide on the B string, which is kind of almost from the 5 fret up to the 14. And I'm sliding up to the 13 on the B. And then I've got two bends on the 15. We put that all together. Right, next part. So when I'm doing that, I'm sliding up from 15 to the 17 on the B. Cross over to 15 on the high E. And then 17. And then I'm gonna go 15 on the high E. Just running down that, so I'm doing 15, 17 B, 15, 17 on the B. Cross over, 15, 17. Finishing on the 15, so. Now from there, we go back to our normal line. It goes back into that line there. So you're gonna play that three more times. And then back to. And that is the end of the guitar solo. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play this classic song, Whiskey in the Jar. Thought I'd bring it out just in time for St. Patrick's Day, so he's got a nice little Irish feel for that. A little... Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Whiskey in the Jar by Finn Lizzie. Of course, covered by lots of other bands, but this one is specifically well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Whiskey in the Jar and just in time for St. Patrick's Day. So a little bit of a double treat for you there. I thought that would be quite good fun. Anyway, I am going to let you go. So until the next time, this is Jeff wishing you well. I'll speak to you again real soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>